Hello Internet, it's uh, Skorkowski, and today I'm going to talk about maps. Now a lot of RPGs out there come with these big, beautiful, glorious fold-out maps of different cities or different nations that you and your players get to play in. Such as this is the Night City map from Cyberpunk 2020. Here's the world map from 7th edition Call of Cthulhu. Or some game masters will make their own maps for their own personal campaigns, printing them all out and taping them together into one big map. A while back I did a video about how players could use a sheet of acrylic glass to go ahead and lay over the maps or any battle mats that are on your table. That way they can protect them and they won't get dirty, but also allow you and your players to be able to write on them with wet erase pens without damaging the actual map beneath. And that is great to use for most maps. However, once you're done with using the map, and Game Masters, you want to put it away, and you've got to fold it, and then unfold it, and put it away. The act of actually folding the map over and over again can wear it out pretty easily. You can see here in my old first edition map of Lankmar how it's coming apart at all the different fold lines. And then if you flip it over, you can actually see along the back how bad that is, and see a little bit of damage, like possible water damage or something like that. Don't know how that got on there. So the trick we're going to discuss today is how a Game Master who uses any of these large fold-out maps can keep it safe and keep from damaging it just through regular use. Now some that I've seen will actually just hang the map up on the wall of whatever space it is that they're playing in. A lot of them will even frame it in a nice big pretty frame. However, not all Game Masters have got a wall near them that they can actually hang it up on, some sort of dedicated gaming space, or maybe the walls are occupied with other things. So not every Game Master can just hang a map up on the wall beside the gaming table. And then you also have the problem that if it is going to be on the wall somewhere around the table, some unfortunate player is going to have to sit with their back to it. And of course then they're going to have to like crane their head around in order to see the map that's on the wall behind them. Personally, I prefer to put the map on the table for the players to see. That way we can look over it very closely, see all the little details, and using a wet erase pen can mark different things in different battle plans or different strategies or anything else like that. So I prefer to lay the map down on the table. And to do that, I've started using these large poster sleeves, which are very nice and sturdy. So with our Conan map, which is our current campaign, I can take this map out inside the sleeve and just lay it across the table. And then we can write on it with wet erase pens, and then once we're done, I can put it away without having to refold it. Also, you can fit multiple maps inside them, so on the back half, I have a different map. This is a smaller sleeve I got for Call of Cthulhu, which is the city of Arkham, Massachusetts on one side, and then Lovecraft Country on the other. So now I can bust these out at any point that I need one in a game. I can lay it on the table, the players can look it over, write on it with red erase pens, kind of figure out what their plan is going to be, and then once we're done using it, I can put it away without having to refold it and unfold it even multiple times in a gaming session. And then when you're done with it, you can either put it in a closet, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind this bookshelf right behind me. That way it is safe from getting damaged, and it's always available for me and ready to use. Now there are a lot of different brands out there, different sizes, different quality, different prices, and I'm not promoting any specific brand. That doesn't matter to me, so Game Masters, get whichever one works best for you. Now the ones that I picked up are Ultra Pro Top Loaders, and the reason that I got these is because they have a cutout sort of middle layer that would be easier to insert and remove maps, because they give a tiny little gap of space there, rather than it simply consisting of only two pieces of plastic that are fused together along the edge like a giant envelope. Also, that gap in the middle allows just a little bit more room to store multiple maps. So depending on how thick a piece of paper that the maps are printed on, you can fit three or four maps inside a single sleeve rather easily. So that was my rationale behind choosing this brand. Now some people who've seen my video over using acrylic glass as a way of protecting their game board or any of their maps are probably going to wonder if they should maybe pick up any of these sleeves instead. But I'm going to tell you that I still use both quite a bit. The sleeves are perfect being able to take your map and lay it out on the table, be able to write on it, and then take it off and leave the board open. However, the plastic that they're made out of them is still extremely thin. You can get little dents in it very, very easily, so it's not the sturdiest thing to use constantly on your tabletop just due to its thickness. So laying an acrylic glass sheet down on top of your game mat or on top of any smaller uh, single-use or double-use sort 
of little maps for different sessions and things like that. I still prefer to use the acrylic glass for that because it's far sturdier for me to use, and I can use it in conjunction with the sleeves for the larger, fold-out, more permanent maps. So I just use whichever tool is best for whichever job I need. Anyway, that is all for this video. Pretty short and sweet Game Master Toolbox video, which is the way that I originally intended for the Game Master Toolbox videos to be, but they ended up getting a little bit too long on me back there. So anyways, I've put links inside the video description in case you want to pick up the same sleeves that I personally picked up, but Game Masters, I still recommend that you shop around, definitely look through prices, the different sizes that you might need, because there are a lot of options, and just choose what's best for you. Until next time, players, you have a great day.